In this instruction, we will create a mechanism with SAM from scratch. The first thing to do is start a new project. Here the world size is dimensioned, but uh, you are free to change it later on. So it is only as a startup value for the size of the paper. First step is to create the mechanism and assemble it from beams or other elements. In this case we only will use the beam. The first piece will be a crank. Next piece will be a part of a triangle like this. And be aware of some is snatching snapping the nodes automatically. This is an option which can be set off but normally it is needed. The next step is to put support onto the mechanism. The support is done by this icon. It's a fixed node and we will fix this node to the world and as you can see now turning around the node the three types of support will appear. If you see the good one, the proper one, you click left and it is selected now. The same counts for the right node. During the creation process always have a good look at the bottom line which uh, defines the status. The left side is the most recent menu item you have chosen. The second part is the command sum is waiting for and the third field is the field which tells about some analysis status. So sum is trying to do any analysis about this mechanism and will tell the user what type of problems uh, are found at this stage. I have just created a complete mechanism which could work, then we see that some uh, understands this, but it tells us there is no input defined. So the next will be the in entry of the input motion. And for this case, we will take an angle input. So we will drive the angle of this bar, this beam, and uh, let it behave as a motor. The input motion dialog of some is quite complicated. There are many options, but for this demo, we will use a simple one turn around 360 degrees in one second, and we will uh, build this in 36 steps. If you've chosen these values, don't forget to add it to a table because. This table may grow longer and you may connect a many types of moves all together to one big move. Don't forget to say OK. And we see now the colored icon here that at this part of the mechanism there is an input motion. We also see that some has done an analysis and it is ready. So it should work now. The first thing to see it work is use the windmill and let it run. This is what we see and we are quite lucky. It works now. In addition we will do a few small things to make this mechanism more useful. One of the things is apply a graph. So we choose for the window mechanism and graph. So now we have a graph at the left side which is still empty but the cursor on the time axis does something, it makes the mechanism in the proper position. So one of the things we can do is uh, choose this element and ask for its angle in the graph. The element properties, here we go to the tab, graph selection, and from the graph selection we say we want to see the angle of this beam. So this should be the angle of the beam. 
well, if you look at the values, we see it running from 10 degrees until 30 degrees. This is the range, and I think this could be correct. One other interesting thing could be this coupler point to see what it does in, in the, on the plane, on the x-y plane. We can choose this node, select the right button and choose for the node properties. And here we can see the tab display and we can ask for the path. Next we see the path of this node. So this is also good. Another thing we can do is display the hodograph, which is the speed diagram which is connected at the point of the curve. So a high speed means a large vector. Next, our picture is running out of the screen, so if we push the middle button, if you have one, so the scroll wheel for the mouse makes it bigger and smaller, but you can also drag with the middle button as a pen view. Okay. 